So instead of rendering the particles as points, I'm experimenting with, you know, cubes. Uh, these voxels will deform uh, and they will rotate, unlike uh, with some other voxel games. This is a one million particle simulation. It doesn't look that huge, but in 3D, one million is basically 100 cubed. So, yeah. I guess that's why we don't see too much of this kind of physics in in video games. It's because it's, it's kind of looks kind of small, I guess. All right. Anyway, next test. Um, low drop. Uh, let's see. This uh, cube is only falling from a basically half of its height. So you'll get to see that it kind of just keeps its shape. It doesn't have any plastic deformation. It's all elastic. So it's just going to keep jiggling around for a bit. And it has some very nice jiggling behavior thanks to the affine particle and cell method. Uh, basically, I have dampening set to zero, so it just keeps that jiggling motion um, forever, I guess. You can see some standing waves. I don't know. Pretty cool. Also, uh, one million particles. Uh, and by the way, the final simulation I'm going to be showing you is going to be three million particles, and it's really cool. I'm just showing you some of the smaller simulations. So, because um, uh, these run at a slightly higher frame rate, <laughs> they're all running at non non playable frame rates. This is also 1 million particles. Um, unlike the previous two simulations, which were 64 particles per grid cell, this one is 8 particles per grid cell. So I guess it basically just takes up more of the domain. And you can kind of use this to do like a level of detail thing as well. Uh, like you can have objects that are further away uh, simulate out, like for example one one particle per grid cell and here I'm not scaling up the boxes but for example you could uh, for the one particle per grid cell ones you can you can scale the particles accordingly so they also f form that kind of closed surface okay that's about that and then I really like the new deformable um, stuff for the water thing. I initialized the water particles closer than their rest density. That's why it kind of bursts outward in the beginning. But this is also to show you kind of the thin sheet behavior. So the thin sheet and thin strands. Uh, because the voxels deform, you still get these thin sheets of... Um, and thin strands in the water. And once this settles down a little bit more, uh, by the way, this is not the 3 million particle when this is still 1 million particles. Um, but actually, yeah, let's see. You can see Let's see, this breaking wave, you can see some very sharp features, like the edges are very sharp. Doesn't look amazing. Um, I do need to improve the rendering a little bit. 
I did, uh, I'm, I'm doing a lot of learning. Uh, kind of the 3D graphics part is, I did do 3D graphics a little bit in the past, but I'm um, not coding my own renderers or shaders and stuff. I might also experiment with uh, putting this in like Unreal Engine or something because they just give you so much um, for like so easily. Um, I see they have like the screen space, global illumination, and yeah. But yeah, like you can see the wave details pretty clearly. Okay. I guess it's mostly stabilized, so I'm going to go on to the next one. And this is the large one, and unfortunately, it is running at a pretty slow frame rate. Uh, four frames per second. Or three frames per second. So we have some really nice buckling behavior, as you can see down here. And in this simulation, there are 64 particles per cell. So like, kind of the particles are, but um, you'll notice that like, it still seems to, um, resolve these collisions rather nicely. So while the um, slabs are 10 particles wide, uh, each of the slabs is only actually really kind of like two, two and a half grid cells wide. But still, it keeps track of, I think it handles the, the collisions pretty well. There are no extra strings or like in the past, if you've been following my videos, I did like these experiments with fibers or something. Basically there's no, there's no springs uh, keeping these uh, particles attached. It's a material point method. Some very nice buckling right here. You'll see all these bends. Let's go for a top-down view. this section. All right. That's about it. Well, thanks for watching.